I'm Elisa John, and you're listening to Southern Miss Today. It's 1210 on Wednesday, March 4th. Today we have Shelly Henry and Katie Donahoe, but right now we're going to kick the show off with Dr. Anne Marie Connell from the Department of Nonprofit Services. She's our director. Hello, Dr. Connell. How are you? Hello. Thank you. Fine. Thank you for being here today. We are going to talk about um, a special a special lecture, excuse me, from the Secretary of State, Delbert Hoseman, and he will be coming to speak with us about regulations um, for nonprofits, correct? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, please? Um, yes. Uh, he's actually he's coming Monday, March 16th, mm -hmm. 7 p.m. It'll be in Gonzales Auditorium, and it's free and open to the public. And it started out, I teach nonprofits and social change, so 405, uh, 505, which is uh, part of our nonprofit studies program. Yes, ma'am. Both the minor and the graduate certificate. And so it started out that um, I wanted him to come and talk to my class. We talk about nonprofit regulation, accountability as part of the nonprofit management class. And then when he agreed to come, I was like, well, I'm sure there's a lot of people who want to hear from the Secretary of State right. and what he does. And so it's like, let's open it up to the public. I think that was a great idea that you had. Um, why is it important for us to understand uh, the type of chari charitable regulations that um, nonprofits have? One, because you're not legal if you're not following them. So. Um, a lot of people, when they're interested in nonprofit work, they think about it from the service provision. Mm -hmm. I want to start a backpack program. I want to start a food program. I want to do after school tutoring. So they think about the programs and how am I going to do that? And then you start thinking about money. How am I going to get that to fund my programs? But oftentimes you don't realize that there's a lot of regulation to be legal in the state of Mississippi. There's also federal, um, which is where the 501c3, you also have mm -hmm. to be legal with the IRS. Uh, but with the every nonprofit that operates in, well, there's some um, levels to, if you make under a certain amount of money, then there's okay. a little bit different issues. But um, for the most part, if you're a nonprofit or if you're doing any fundraising in the state of Mississippi, so if you're coming outside of the state, you need to be um, you need to be registered with the Secretary of State's office and follow those um, regulations. And the Secretary of State's office also does a lot of accountability. Mm -hmm. How are nonprofits spending their money? Um, he does a campaign every December uh, because that's a big giving time of the year. Yes, I am. Um, you know, telling people to you know look at charities. How are they spending their money? And he has on their website places where you can look up charities to find out how they're spending their money. So this is this event will be something that individuals who are aspiring to create a nonprofit um, they should they should attend this um, if they if they aren't knowledgeable about these regulations. Definitely, um, and I I think it's really important because a lot of our younger generations now are looking into um, starting nonprofits and coming up with major ways to give back to their. Um, specific target audiences or just the community at large so if you are that type of individual you, you are seeking um, more wisdom and more knowledge about beginning a nonprofit please come out um, to the LAB room 108 in the Gonzales Auditorium correct mm -hmm. um, on Monday after spring break so you can jumpstart your <laughs> spring break return with some great information um, it's really cool that he's taking this time out to come and speak with us. I don't think we get to experience um, being able to hear from our state leaders um, as frequently. Definitely. So, I mean, when do you have the opportunity to ask the Secretary of right. State a question? This is it. <laughs> so even if you even if you aren't um, maybe concerned about nonprofit, would this still be an opportunity to kind of sure. maybe get a one-on-one -on -one connection with him? Sure. Okay. Sure. Yes, I'd love to have everybody. Well, yeah, I know that we were talking earlier, and you said that you've never really met him um, in person before. No. So this is going to be something interesting yes, for I'm, you, too. I'm very much looking forward to it. And for you to kind of take this as something that you wanted to, to do specifically for your students and kind of open it up to the public, I think that that speaks volumes for the type of individual that you are. So kudos to you for that. Thank you. Well, thank you. Is there any th anything else that we wanted to touch on? Maybe some upcoming events that um, the nonprofit um, sector of the school is going to be doing soon? Uh, 
Not particularly, although just to remind people that we do have the nonprofit studies minor and we now have a new nonprofit studies graduate certificate. So um, if anybody is interested in you know getting more background in classes, we have some new classes. We have a new uh, volunteer and boards classes, uh, managing volunteers and boards, which will be an online class this summer okay. uh, that we are doing. So if anybody needs more information, they can certainly contact me and we can talk about it. Okay. What what type of expectations should students or um, potential students be looking for to um, as far as the curriculum is concerned in nonprofit studies? Well, it's a very the way we've set it up. It's a very good grounding in how nonprofits run, how nonprofits operate. So we have a foundations class, uh, nonprofit um, studies that I'm teaching this spring. And we go through everything, you know, what are, what's a board, mm -hmm. uh, how does a nonprofit board operate, you know, what does the executive director do. Right now we're talking about volunteer management. We talk about regulations and accountability. Uh, we talk about the, you know, differences between for-profit sector, um, nonprofit sector. Uh, the students will also take uh, business law, so there's several business classes that okay. they take. Uh, we've started the new... Uh, fundraising and grant writing class uh, that we've been teaching every year. We have a new um, uh, internship requirement, so we uh, get students into internships with nonprofits, and we have a lot of great nonprofits in this area that are, you know, do a great job working with students, really getting you in to Absolutely. find out how nonprofits operate. And then we do have the new boards and volunteers class that's going to be happening this summer. Well, you are definitely the go-to person for that. And yes. if we wanted to get in contact with you, how could we do that? Uh, well, the easiest thing to do would be to call my office directly, 601-266-4307. Yes, um, okay. You can also contact, I'm the chair of the Anthro uh, Department of Anthropology and Sociology, so you can contact <laughs> Anthropology and Sociology and they will let you know. Or um, you can email me, which is ann.kinnell, K-I-N-N-E-L-L, -L, at usm.edu. Okay, Dr. Kinnell, we're going to put all of this information on our Southern Miss Today Facebook page so that those okay, individuals excellent. that are seeking information about this or anything upcoming with you guys, they can definitely reach out and get in contact with the proper person. So thank you for being here once again. We definitely appreciate it. Is there anything else we need to touch on? I think that was it. Okay, guys, Monday after spring break on the 16th, um, the LAB Room 108 Gonzalez Auditorium at 7 p.m. The state, the Secretary of the State of Mississippi, yes, you heard me correctly, Delbert Hosman will be here to give a lecture and kind of give you more information on the regulations um, that deal with nonprofit organizations. And we have our contact information for Dr. Cannell. We'll put that on our Facebook page. Coming up, we have Buzz in the Berg. But before that, I have some music for you guys. Check out Beautiful Monster by O. Jeremiah. We'll be right back with Southern Miss today.